and welcome back right so we're about to fight some rock on holds and <clears throat> we haven't fought those this run or uh, we didn't f fight them during our crusader run either so that's slightly exciting so for this fight i will let sami sit out his stuff is damaged and also this fencing sword is not going to be the best weapon against rock on holds who have huge armor and some people do have some poison on them, just in case we need it. If I remember correctly, poison stops their regeneration for one turn. But I'll try to get through the fight without poison, and I believe we'll be fine, since there's only a few of them. And for this fight, um, weapon reels such as hammers is very nice, so... <clears throat> we only have, like, two hammers, but... Uh, weapons such as axes, I believe, will also be fine, as well as the Golden Dax um, Cudgel attack. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and kill them. Okay, terrain is a bit annoying, but we can deal with it. Uh, they probably have Pathfinder, right? Yes, they do. Okay, so the plan here is probably to let Chloe and Gajon um, tank one of them each and kill the rest while that's happening. And the final one, we don't know. We don't know if the fifth one is a rock unhold or white unhold, but I guess I'm hoping for a rock unhold because that's far more valuable for us. Anyway, we could like move back one tile to this high ground, but I'm not sure if that's going to help us at all. I mean, probably it will, but it's it's unnecessary, I think, against just five of these. So instead, also if we want to move away from the high ground in this tundra terrain, that's going to demand a lot of action points and fatigue, so maybe we just stay put for the most part, and let Chloe and Gajon advance a tiny bit and take the first attacks or the whatever it's their jumping ability is, and otherwise just stay put. Uh, let's do that. So Chloe moved there. Um, I'll no, I don't need to rotate there. So they might jump on N hard, but that's fine as well. Alright, and we will inspire someone for next round. And I will choose, I guess, Emmerich because of his polearm mastery and impressive polearm. He is able to do a lot with that thing. Okay, so it's two rock unholds and three white ones. Here they come. Now the question is... What will happen with the rock unholds? And we do get hit a couple of times, but so far it's fine. So I guess we need to nuke this one down ASAP, since... It's slightly more um, in our mixed than this one is. Though this one is able to throw Hubert over its shoulder and advance wherever, wherever it wants. And we can't really like focus down just one of them with this, this weaponry and so many of us can't position like that. So this is slightly awkward, but <clears throat> if someone manages to die here I won't be too sad because that's actually exciting at this point in the run since it's pretty easy for the most part uh, don't want the game to become a complete cakewalk anyway but yeah having someone with indomitable or an, an immunity to being thrown back or or pushed around would be nice in a fight like this, I guess. We only have one person with Indom. I guess we could have brought him, but I didn't for whatever reason. 
Anyway, let's just wait there. And sadly, Jon cannot attack anyone here, unless I rolled it with Baldwin. And neither can Borkil, so what we will do here actually is rotate both of them with Baldwin. That enables both Borkil and Jon to actually attack during this round. <clears throat> Alright, and Asa, just go for the rock on hold. Let's see how well this pound is going to do. So rock unholds 1000 armor, which regenerates. Also 1000 hit points, which also regenerates. And they have battle hearts, so surround bonuses don't exist, not even with um, backstabber. And their damage is like, I believe it's not that terrible in comparison to a white unhold, but it's still like something to something to keep in. Uh, well, how should I say this? They are able to kill your people, yeah, but they're not as deadly as something like a stallworm or. Well, we haven't fought like skin ghouls in either of our runs just yet, but I believe skin ghouls are a bit more terrifying as well. So they're more like tanks, I suppose, but we'll see, we'll see. They might be able to kill someone here, maybe. Okay, Gajon. I will try to taunt, I guess, this one. But Chloe doesn't have taunt, so... Let's just tie this white unhold here until it decides to throw Chloe away. And let's see how the cudgel does. Also, did I wait with Asa for whatever reason? Why did I wait there? That was weird. I should have just attacked. I guess I'm autopiloting, which I shouldn't be doing against the legendary beast fight. Anyway, so we don't probably want to trust. And instead we want to cudgel. Okay, so damage is not overly impressive, but we do manage to daze it. Alright, wolf. I guess just go in. We are hitting its head a lot. Taunt it. So they do have a sweeping attack, which means, I don't know, if it's going to start on Gajon, then it's going to hit here only, I believe. But I don't know, we'll see. And I guess we should use nets as well, even though we only have three of them. But since this one is taunted, as long as that works as intended, I believe it will just attack instead of breaking free from the net, so might as well use the net there. And here, instead of moving here, which actually would be pretty good, um, we will instead attack the rock unhold here, I guess. And let's see, smite or impale? Probably use the smite. Deals more damage anyway. And maybe actually I should go for this white one hold in our mixed first, but <clears throat> I have already started battering this rock unhold, so I guess I'll at least for this round keep doing that. Alright, and as I said, I will rotate both of these guys, but I will first move here with Baldwin so that I get Borg healed to a position where she can move and attack. Like so. And let's keep inspiring Emmerich. And I guess we use Demolish Armor over the batter here. Hmm. So it's kind of suboptimal actually to kill these rock unholds before I kill the white unholds, but the problem here is that they're already like engaged with our damage dealers in melee. We didn't manage to, since I didn't reposition our troops, I didn't manage to get our 
tanks to handle it. So I'll just keep going for the rock on holds, I guess. And here I guess I'll, I'll wait with Enhard because I want to reapply the days once it clears, since these guys have resilient. But let's keep breaking that armor and wait with Gajon. I'll wait with Hubert as well and see if we want to possibly attack a white unhold instead, if this rock unhold decides to throw Hubert. And if it does, I guess we'll need to focus fire this one down before this one, because it's going to get next to Emmerich, who can't handle the heat. Okay. We've started to deal hit point damage on this one. Okay, that's annoying. I guess we should have targeted the white unholds first because of stuff like this happening. Uh, let's see what happens with the rock unholds. I might have to decide to go for the white unholds here, or at least this one. Because their throwing attack is kind of like messing us up. But here I'll demolish this rock unholds armor, I guess. Okay, Vents goes for attack and... throws Hubert in this position and moves forward and is able to attack again so Emmerich is pushed here to the high ground okay well this is awkward but Gajon is now located way over here somehow after being thrown around so we will taunt this one I guess and yeah, this is annoying because of the terrain. If we move here, we can't attack anymore. Guess I'll use the poison. Because I can't really do anything else with Enhard after moving. Okay, let's stunt this one. So this, this is kind of a clusterfuck. But... Yeah, let's see how this goes. Might have underestimated this fight, but that would be a bit sad since there's only five of them. Uh, could move here actually and taunt this one for next round. And I'll use a net on this white unhold. use one here as well but maybe I'll save it for this final rock on hold guess I'll use it immediately there because we have the increased range from the net perks okay so can't attack the rock on hold unless I risk moving with Hubert I guess it's it has a pretty good chance to succeed so let's do it Even though killing this white unhold would be very beneficial as well, but we can't really reposition or get close enough with others to actually manage that. So let's continue with our initial plan of taking down the rock unholds. Though I will take down this white unhold that is netted here as well out of necessity. And let's keep inspiring Emmerich, since he's basically our best damage dealer with that weapon. Hmm. So Asa has vengeance. So we now have a choice to go either for the rock unhold here or this white unhold. Which is actually a bit of a tough choice. 
it's going to take a long time to kill the rock on hold anyway. But then again, we only have Herman and Wolram and Ser Hilda here to kill the white on hold, but mm, I guess I'll go for the white on hold that is netted here. Okay, Borkild can only go for the rock on hold. So we are dealing good damage against their armor at least. But this is a damage race because of their rapid regeneration capabilities. Right. Let's use Cudgel again. There's the poison. The next few hits doing at least six damage to hit points will apply it. Okay. Don't really use poison much, but it's been made far more usable in Legends. So <clears throat> it is a valid strategy to use it in some fights. Kind of unnecessary for the most part, but. Okay, so this one is taunted. Let's taunt this one with Gajon. Also shield wall, I guess. Start killing this white on hold. Okay, Emmerich can only go for this rock on hold here. Okay, so Volram is going to be pushed back because of his sub-par melee defense, but it won't matter that much. He has a reach weapon anyway. Alright, white unholds incapable of doing much there, which I am happy about. Nice. Very ex ex impressive, not expressive. Impressive damage there. So they're like weak to like these hammers, I guess. Even when they don't have armor left. <laughs> once again, Enhart is pushed here, so he, he once again cannot attack after moving. So that's one reason to pick up Pathfinder on ev everyone or avoid fights in the Tundra, especially Tundra, tundra Hills. Yeah, we can do nothing here. The other option would be to get quick hands, but we don't have it and have a reach weapon. So we are kind of um, splitting our damage here between multiple targets, which definitely isn't optimal. Okay, what the what was the chance there? Five percent, and Gajon has been pushed back. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> He won't have enough fatigue for multiple taunts anyway, next round. Okay, and once again, let's inspire Emmerich. So maybe Yon actually makes a better target with that weapon. Oh well. Already made my cho choice there. Uh, let's wait with Enhart before we move there. Okay, here I'll go for the rock on hold. Okay, 
Okay, Sir Hilda is being targeted by this one. It shouldn't matter too much though. Okay, let's inspire Yon here with that Reach Hammer. Okay, almost killed the White Unhold. So I wonder if this is going to deal more damage, even when it doesn't have armor left. Uh, but it's going to cost more fatigue anyway, so let's not use it. Okay, so we miss a 95 there and also hit the head. That's kind of disappointing. Pushed back there. Okay, that's bad. Broken hold now has the high ground. At least it's almost dead, so we should be able to kill it without further difficulties. Asa is way over here now. Yeah, so Pathfinder would be very nice for this fight. As would Indomitable or some immunity to being thrown. So it would help. Yeah, let's go for the Rock Unhold here because we also have we have the Daze effect from the Cudgel and we have the Poison, the Goblin Poison. Okay, let's also taunt the rock on hold once again. It's a 77 this time. Okay, we might want to move back with Emmerich, maybe. Herman, let's see how Herman's melee defense is. It should be fine. Can I find Herman in this list though? Yes, I can. 72, okay. So let's not move Emmerich back yet at least, but let's move next to the rock unhold here with Herman. Okay. We are out of fatigue for Inspire, so instead we could either attack for 57 or just end Halver's turn here. I guess we'll just end turn. Okay, Yawn, go for the damage. Good. Hmm. Not sure if I want to move next to the rock unhold with Borg Hilt here, but if I don't, there is the possibility that Borg Hilt will not get to do any damage during this round. So let's do it, I guess. And we miss a 90%, okay. Impressive damage there. Guess we had Vengeance active on Asa. 
Still haven't managed to kill even one of these guys. Okay. Keep on trying to kill, I guess. Not much else we can do. Hmm. Okay, go there. And let's keep attacking rock unholds. But maybe we want to attack this one. Hmm. It's 79 to hit, so let's instead go for the 100%. Get that daze and poison in there. Okay, one down. Hmm, could go in already. Could also rotate Hubert. I guess since Hubert has a hammer, it's a good idea, probably. And also rotate Asa in. So, let's see. Can Asa actually move and attack in Tundra? This costs 12 fatigue. Tundra is 3 fatigue, so I guess, yeah. She'll be able to move and attack even without Pathfinder or some other method of reducing uh, fatigue buildup. Let's keep on taunting. Go in, I guess. Okay, Herman has Vengeance active. This one is is the one we should kill um, first, though. But it's in a more difficult spot. It has also taken far more damage than this one. I guess we'll keep going for it. It's only 77, though. Do hit. Should bring more hammers next time we fight these things. So, our damage dealers... Actually, hmm, Herman should have gone for this white unhold here, because our damage dealers have been like relocated in a fashion that makes this white unhold um, unkillable this round, I guess. But, I <laughs> guess we'll continue to go for it. Okay, we get a stagger thanks to the faint quality on this uh, pole mace. Sir Hilda continues to be bullied, but that's fine. It's keeping this annoying white on hold with full health and full armor out of our way here. Should have maybe waited before we moved in with Hubert and Asa because the rock unhold is going to attack Gajon and is also going to be able to hit these two here. And I guess we rotate War Killed. So let's see, can War Killed actually move and attack? So why am I blind? Why can I not? Yeah, okay, there. Yeah, she can because of iron lungs, okay. But let's wait and see what happens. Okay, not too bad there. Good. Nice. 
Jesus. Not being hit is one way to win fights. Oh, we couldn't actually. Didn't have enough. Oh yeah, it's six fatigue to traverse. I was looking at the AP cost. And Borkil doesn't have Pathfinder either. Nor does she have quick hands to make use of the ball hammer. Well, that's one problem fighting in the Tundra. Okay, so this is super awkward. I guess I continue to go for this one. So, hmm. We should just kill the white unhold here. Let's do it. Get the kill on Herman or Wolram, I guess. This fight would be far easier on the plains. Or if I had actually repositioned properly or brought my indomitable guy in. Continue to taunt, I guess. Hey, Herman, please kill the white unhold. Thank you. And we missed there. And we missed there. Because of their last stand perk. Awkward. Definitely awkward. At least they aren't dealing as much damage as stallworms or something. I guess the wolf goes in here. And I'll let Chloe handle the white unhold. Sir Hilda can take a breather. Okay, let's... Hmm. Well, it's only 52, but let's try to kill this one. Two line to hit there. Let's continue to inspire Yon. Just recover with Baldwin, I guess. Okay, we miss seventy seven this time. to 66. Okay, so this one is almost dead. But it will get to act and regenerate before we are able to kill it. Doesn't have, have actually fatigue left to attack more than one stall, so we are winning. We are definitely winning. 
slowly but surely. It's like that fable with the tortoise and the hare. Okay, we get pushed around, but once again the damage isn't too much. Can still handle it. Here, Baldwin, what are you going to do? I guess I could rotate Borkhild to this position here. No, I can't because we don't have Pathfinder. Could rotate Asa, but we don't, we don't need to. She can just move there on her own. Could rotate Borkhild just to attack with the Ball Flail. Or I could move here preemptively. I guess we'll do that. Can rotate and attack from this position at the start of. Well, not at the start, but during next round. And let's keep inspiring Yon. Oh, I should have rotated Asa. <laughs> keep forgetting about the fatigue costs of Tundra movement. Ah, oh, well. Okay, one more hit should do it on this guy. If you can call a rock unhold a guy. Good. So now the problem with this position is that if I stay here, Borkhild will not be able to get, get to the rock unhold. And also Yon would have to move to attack. I can actually rotate three times here. So I could rotate Wolf, Borkhild, and Yon. That just leaves Wolf in a stupid spot, but Wolf can use rotation on his own. I could also just rotate Yon to this spot so that Yon can attack twice thanks to being inspired. I guess rotating three times is the best course of action, so nice to have a pool of 110 fatigue to use with rotation. Like so. And once again, Enhart can do nothing. Can't even move. But yeah, this fight is now pretty much over because this one has been fully fatigued out and continues to be trapped in the net. So now it's just a formality to actually kill these things. Slightly annoying there. Could rotate wolf. Guess that's what we'll do. And I'll actually go for the white unhold here with Enhart, because wolf is going to take this spot anyway. Oh, 
All right. <clears throat> Let's just kill them now. No reason to taunt anymore, I don't think. Should be able to just kill it. Can Yon attack twice if I inspire him here? Is the question. This is 9 fatigue only, so yes, he should be able to, yeah. Also, never mind, don't even need to. Alright, so ultimately, this fight was tougher than I anticipated but that's mostly because of the terrain and my own like um, incompetence i guess but yeah next time if we can avoid it not fight on tundra hills and also bring more hammers and maybe bring more poison Continues to bully Sir Hilda. Has something against rat catchers. Can't even attack after doing that, so that was pointless. <sighs> okay, well, I should have impaled instead. Okay. All right. That's that. Don't get a level up. Get some rock unhold bones and hide, but I don't believe one of each is going to be sufficient for anything. And now we need to repair again. So let's re-equip nets. Sami can come back in. Let's let Gajon sit out. Herman can sit out. And Enhard, I guess, can sit out as well. For a little bit. So let's repair. Just going to take a long while. Don't actually have anything on our salvage queue. So everyone who was assigned to salvage can instead repair things. We also need a healer, I guess. No injury, but we took hit point damage there. Okay, do we want to craft anything is the question. Could make some Lindworm scale cloaks, I guess. Let's make at least one of those. Oh, 
we can actually make a mountain helm if we get a great helm and one more unhold hide. We also need a great helm for the Stolvrum helmet. Need to keep that in mind, I guess. So, great helms. Let's quickly check if we actually have those equipped on our battle-forged people. That's a famed one. That is not a great helm. So we could just buy great helms or we could... Okay, there's one of them. Let's get it out of there. Or we could kill brigands and hedge knights for them. Brigand groups will have hedge knights. Let's see. So did we need anything else? We have one great helm to use. We need one more unhold height. Okay, I'll just keep that great helm in our inventory so we don't forget. Let's equip something else on Asa. Shouldn't matter too much because she has steel brow. So let's instead of that equip this kettle salad. Which is slightly worse, but <clears throat> it's fine. And let's camp. Okay. Good thing that we have to repair that now, because we would have ran run out of tools there otherwise. Anywho, let's see if we can find something else to kill around here. Oh yeah, there's the there's the icy cave. I don't know when we found it. Oh, never mind. We actually fought it already. Oh man, my brain sometimes. My brain. We have already defeated the icy cave. What I thought was that we had found it earlier, or that I hadn't noticed it being there. But that is not the case. Let's see if we can find like a good camp around here. So far, no. It's a barren wasteland. We have the scouting equipment. We do. So what we could do is just camp and scout to increase our patrol radius. Maybe find something that way. But let's head to Aidstead now. Okay, I'm going to leave this extremely easy camp here. If we get a patrol contract, we might take that out, but otherwise it's not really worth it at this point. Not worth the time invested. Okay, let's try out some people here. Okay, well, no one has hate for beasts. Black market has a lot of stuff though. So here's a bardish, it's pretty good. Maybe even an excellent bardish. So has enhanced damage and ignores more armor. It's also very expensive, but we might buy that. Here's a Reach Cleaver, which is, it's good. It's not great, but it's good. So would be nice for someone with um, mind over body and perfect focus because of the 
max roll on the weapon skilled fatigue build up. So might be able to do a lot with that with those perks specifically. Otherwise, I don't know if it's worth it. Not for the money, that is. So we already have like a good famed axe. Even though, yeah, the partish is going to be slightly more impressive, but only slightly, I guess. We could also let Wolf use something more damaging than this, but... I don't know. We could also just buy some famed weapons, even if we're just not... If, even if we're not going to use them just yet, we will eventually, I guess, find someone who we will want to use those weapons with later on. We could also give Hubert something other than this unfamed two-handed hammer. But let's keep looking at these things. Here's a spade, which we will skip. There's also a pretty bad, yeah, actually an, a horrible famed two-handed mace has plus stagger chance and improved shield damage. So absolute garbage there. For 20,000 at least. Here's a famed war, war brand. It's pretty bad. Skip it. Uh, reach flail. Which is like mediocre, I guess. Has more effectiveness against armor and more chance to hit, hit the head. I uh, might buy that, maybe. Here's a pretty bad two-handed flail. Okay, a rondel dagger. But no one is using daggers. Lethal mallet, which is pretty bad. Not has Doesn't have improved damage other than improved armor ignore. Here's another uh, fencing sword. Has enhanced damage and more initiative, but we already have one of those. And here's a pretty meh one-handed noble sword. So what we could buy here is the Bardish. Also, I didn't look at this two-handed hammer, I guess. It's pretty bad. Uh, the Bardish may be the Reach Flail, but probably skip that because it doesn't have enhanced damage. And probably skip the Reach Cleaver as well. We don't even have a Cleaver user in our company. I guess I could buy the Bardish though and give it to someone like Hubert. Or maybe Borg killed. <clears throat> I mean, sure. It's only money. So let's compare a little bit here. Damage is um, only slightly better in comparison to this famed Barbarian Axe. It ignores 2% more armor and is less effective against armor. So, what this thing does have is this split attack, but it's very fatigue intensive. So, we could either sell it back or give it to Hubert here. And yeah, like I said, we will eventually find more people with which we can use these weapons with more effectiveness. I guess we'll give it to Hubert for now. Even though with 91 melee skill, it's not going to be hitting all that much. Anywho... We also have the weaponsmith. There's nothing there. 
Marketplace. Let's see, selling price is what? 16%, which is like okay. But we have room in our inventory anyway, so we don't need to sell here. We also don't have a lot of things to sell. How about tool price? It's tolerable. Let's see how many. 160, right? No, 30 plus 180, 210. There's not even enough tools here. Let's buy all of them. And I guess that's it for this, unless we take the caravan contract. Stay enforced. That is a lot of XP to complete a, a long caravan, especially if we get attacked. Uh, sadly, Stainforce doesn't have an armorer or a weaponsmith. Hmm. So what else do we want to do in the north? Look for more barbarian camps, I guess. So we could go to here. I guess we'll do it. Let's stop by at, stop by at eight, eight weeks pork. See if we can find something there. Okay, we see a group of barbarians. There is a champion, so we'll kill them. Let's see if we can kill them without the help. Oh, there's actually two champions with the help of those um, nobles. Uh, should have done something about our formation and weaponry, but it's going to be fine. There's only six of them, by the way. So I guess they fought someone and lost. Okay, now we can just annihilate these fools should be an easy task damage there. Okay, one down already. I do think this chosen and chosen champions should be buffed a little bit at least. I have said it previously, but it bears a repeating, I think. Both of the champions have been taken care of.
Let's kill the drummers as well. I'm not feeling too magnanimous here. So we get a couple of these light slash nimble armors. Okay, let's move or continue to move, that is. Okay, Yon has been cured of being ailing. Jon is walking around camp with hands out and fingers stretched as though balancing across a rope, nodding and turns around, foot placed before foot, marching back across. <clears throat> For the first time in a long time, I actually feel quite all right. Thanks, Malabogs. It seems Malabogs knew of a couple of means to read what ailed Jon. Okay. Sure, sure. Check the weaponsmith first. Nothing. How about the armorer? Also nothing. And now for the recruits. Okay, so here's someone with hate for beasts, but sadly they are probably not going to be good enough. So does get heightened reflexes to make some use out of ranged defense, but does, does this guy even get dodge? I don't see it. So the only thing that he has going for him, or her rather, is this one star in melee skill, which I believe is probably not going to cut it at this point. I mean, they might roll very well regardless, but I'm not that desperate at the moment since we do have a pretty full roster already. So I'll just leave Clementia here. Okay, so no one that we want. All right, let's keep on moving. Maybe find a nice barbarian camp to destroy. See a group of undead wandering around. Don't actually see how many of them there were. Okay, extremely easy group. I'll let them be. And we see nothing else around here. Okay, so here's a... Well, it's a pretty easy camp. But there is a champion, so we will destroy it next time. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching and I will see you then.